Hello guys, this is PanzerMarch36, and in today's video we're going to be doing a product review of the MIG Ammo Brass Toothpick. This is an incredibly novel product, and I'm amazed that no one's ever thought of making a, a similar object out of a, a lighter or cheaper material before, but, you know, this is innovation in the hobby right here. I'm going to get rid of the glare and just open this thing up, and we're going to, we're going to see what we have in the box. So included in the box are three brass toothpicks. And according to the MIG Ammo website, these are mainly meant to be used as CA glue applicators because they're very fine. You know, you can put a little bit of glue on the end and apply it to the model somewhere. And you can very easily clean them off by burning it off with a lighter. You know, there's no other way you could make it of a cheaper material and just throw it out when you're done. They also mention that you can use these for creating scratches when you're doing hairspray chipping or chipping with chipping fluid. And of course, there's no alternative for that as well. And lastly, they advertise these as being able to punch rivets and engrave panel lines, uh, which I guess might work. I mean, they're brass, so they're not going to damage the surface that much. You know, they're a little soft. They're not really that pointy. There's also engraving tools that exist out there, which I mean, you might want to invest into if you're doing a whole aircraft. But I guess this is an option you can consider. All right, let's test out this product. I've got some CA glue here, and I'm going to use my CA glue applicator, which is the main purpose of this product, to apply some CA to the model to fix this flimsy bent side skirt rail. So I'm going to take a little bit of the CA on the brass toothpick, and that seems to work. And it indeed does apply super glue to a model. Now to test out the hairspray chipping uh, ability of this product, I'm going to just practice a little bit more on this Panzer IV here. You can see I've already done hairspray chipping over the green and red camouflage pattern, and I definitely didn't already make some scrapes and scratches here with the exact same product made of a lighter material. But we're going to test out how well the Megamo brass toothpick works. So first I'm going to apply some water to the area to activate the hairspray and kind of soften up the area so the damage is a little bit easier to do. And then after about 30 seconds or so we can go in here and make some scrapes and scratches to simulate. Uh, it, could be, it could be battle damage or it could be the crew walking around and so on. And indeed it does look like it will scrape the activated hairspray and uh, well, scrape the paint on top of the activated hairspray and create hairspray chipping effects. So I did some research online into competing products and I found the main competitor for the MIG Ammo Brass Toothpick. Now the Brass Toothpicks, uh, they come in a pack of three and it costs 12 euros on the MIG Ammo site and it's probably going to cost a little bit more if you get it elsewhere, but that's still about you know 12 US dollars or so. So that means that each of these each of these toothpicks is worth about four or five dollars. Now the main competitor, the value is a little bit better. For less than five dollars, I was able to get uh, more than 500 of these bamboo toothpicks. And these are um, the same thing. Now, of course, I'm being a little bit facetious here. Of course, it's April Fool's Day, um, but I don't, I don't quite understand how this is worth literally 400 times this and I don't think I've ever been used 400 toothpicks in my entire life but I mean you can buy these if you want they're not that expensive and they definitely can be just a reusable glue applicator but like this is a glue applicator and then when you're done you just put it in the garbage can it's like almost worthless okay I'm, I'm very sorry to interrupt here but I'm editing the thumbnail for this video right now, and I just found this picture on the MIG Ammo website where they show their brass toothpick next to a broken wooden toothpick, as if this is some kind of common issue to have with wooden toothpicks, them breaking on you when you need them most. This is top level marketing. Alright, back to the video. I mean, maybe the riveting is, a, is definitely something that this can do. I don't really do that because I don't do aircraft and such. Um, maybe the riveting is actually a, a way that these can work. And for the hairspray chipping, I use toothpicks all the time and they work perfectly fine. Actually, I like the toothpick because it's very not sharp because it's made of wood. It's very hard for you to actually scrape through the paint 
And if you're working with one of these, I think you could more easily actually dig in a little too far and and go through the hairspray and then through the underlying uh, red primer or whatever and expose bare plastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions or comments about this product, you can post them in the comment section below, but I don't really know what more there is to say about it. It's pretty obvious what this is. If you really like my work, you can support me on Patreon. People there who give me a little bit of money every month really help me buying paints and products to review like like this, you know, uh, not a waste of money at all here. And uh, it is much appreciated, the people who support me on Patreon, they get early access to videos and such. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, goodbye, and happy modeling, and happy April Fool's Day. See ya.